Am I the asshole for telling my sill she can leave Christmas dinner when she freaked out over tampons? Okay, she's not my sill yet but I used it to make the title simpler. She's my boyfriend's borther's girlfriend. I, F28, have been with my boyfriend, M32, Ian, for three years. We've decided to host a small, early Christmas dinner. One of the people invited was his brother, Jake, M26. Jake asked if he could bring his girlfriend as she was all alone. They've been together for three months, and we agreed, the more the merrier. His girlfriend, Nevaeh, F28, seemed a bit timid but lovely. Nevaeh brought her eight-year-old son, that we didn't know was coming. She seemed lovely right until she went to the bathroom. She came out shrieking, box of my tampon she in her hand, literally gasping for air in between her shrieks. I could barely understand her. Turns out, my box of tampons was visible. Dua, it's within a reach because hey, I need it monthly. Why should I hide it and then look for it? She was going off about being disgusting. How could I be so shameless to have this in front of a child and other men and so on? I looked at her in disbelief. I couldn't believe she made a scene about a box of tampons. Has she never been in a shop? Anyway, I told her that my tampons stay where they are but if she's so pressed, she can leave and go home where no tampons are present. She turned red, quite literally, her face was bright pink. Huffing and puffing, she dressed her kid and told Jake to drive her home which he did. Jake didn't come back but he called from her house telling Ian that I was the asshole. I was surprised to hear that Ian, my boyfriend, agreed with him. I thought he would be on my side. We were about to argue but I decided it wasn't worth it and went to my office to cool down and think this through. Am I the asshole for telling her to leave? Not the asshole nobody would have fucking noticed if she didn't drag the damn things out and yell about it like a buffoon. Keep the box when you're done. Leave it out if she comes over again. Not the asshole. This stranger came to your house and insulted you. She's hardly a member of the family after three months of dating your boyfriend's brother. If she was genuinely concerned about her child seeing the tampons, then she wouldn't have walked out waving them in the air and screaming. Not the asshole. It's a box of unused tampons, she was being a drama llama. Girl, you need a better boyfriend. They are the asshole. And the girlfriend entitled attitude brings an unannounced child. No, you were brilliant. Tell boyfriend he can stay at his brother's until he apologize and stick up for you. Am I the asshole for ruining Christmas Eve for my ex's fiancé? My ex's family were complaining that they wouldn't see our son on Christmas because I was going to spend it with my family. Since they live fairly close to my parents, I decided to drop by on Christmas Eve so they could see my son. I didn't check in advance to see if my ex and his fiancé would be there, but unfortunately, they were. My ex's fiancé asked me why I was there and asked me to leave. I tried to explain I was only there so my ex's family could see my son but she was yelling at me that I ruined everything and I was doing this on purpose. She left because I wouldn't. The short story of why his fiancé hates me is because our son was conceived while they were already in a relationship which I wasn't aware of. So am I the asshole? Isn't this the reason why custody agreements have clauses for holidays? Winking face IDK. But this could have all been avoided. Esh. You should have let him know you were coming and so should his parents. A simple text wouldn't have been so hard for any of you. His fiancé should not have freaked out like that. He shouldn't have cheated on her and gotten you pregnant. Basically you all suck. INFO. What did the father of your son did when you arrived? And the rest of the family? Not the asshole. It's your ex's responsibility to deal with his fiancé's Christmas happiness, not yours. And actually you didn't ruin anything. You gave his family joy by bringing your kid along for a short visit. If his fiancé can't deal with the way he behaved overall, which is very sketchy, BTW, that's their problem to solve. Am I the asshole for telling my husband that I don't want him to take a nap on Christmas Day? My husband, 40M, and I, F39, have been married for more than 15 years. We're independent people, but we enjoy spending time together too. He's a night owl, and I'm a light sleeper. I can't sleep in no matter what I do, and I never nap, I'm not good at it anyway, and I consider it lost time in a day, and time lost with our daughters, 9 and 10, and time that could have been well spent doing chores, playing, exercising, etc. My who band loves to nap. He'd do it almost every day. Besides, he sleeps in every morning on weekends and days off. I don't mind that much because I would also like to do it, if only I could. We used to take turn when I was still able to sleep in. 
However, that is on top on the napping. Even if I tell him to please go to bed earlier, to please not nap, especially when the girls are around, he just doesn't care. He'll nap anyway. He never gives in to my requests. Today's Christmas Day. We had a party yesterday and we went to bed very late. I was exhausted. However that was about as usual bedtime. I go to bed 2-3 hours before he does. We managed to wake up at 9 a.m., which is awesome for me. We watched our daughters open up their presents and ate breakfast. I asked everyone if they'd like to watch a Christmas movie. The girls declined, preferring to play with their toys. Then my husband immediately went to bed. At like 11 a.m. on Christmas Day. I'm beyond appalled. I can't even believe this. We could have played with the girls, watched a different movie or even anything he'd enjoy, clean up the Christmas mess, anything, anything at all. But no, he went back to bed. Am I the asshole for critiquing him, being mad at him on Christmas Day, and for trying to control when he sleeps? And hash x200b. Edit. Okay, so you all have kids? Kids alone on Christmas Day with a father that doesn't care? Plus the plus 104 days of the weekends throughout the year he spends in bed without spending time with them? I don't care that much that it's Christmas Day, to me it's worse honestly, but if that were the one time of the year, it would be okay. But no, he naps all the time, not just today. I don't think you took the whole situation in consideration. Not the asshole. For wanting to spend time with your husband. You are the asshole for arguing with everyone who says you are the asshole. If you don't want an answer to your am I the asshole question or you're only willing to accept a, not the asshole, answer then don't bother posting the question here. Go to a different group. Try. Would I be the asshole for telling some woman to stop showing up at my house? I have three cats. They're all very well looked after and perfectly happy, but one of them is a bit of a wanderer. She never strays far, but will go all over the village and isn't shy, so likes to chatter to people and try and scrounge food. She has a skin condition and is an ex-stray, so her tail looks a bit raggedy, but she's tough as an old boot and looks after herself. A few weeks ago, a woman found her and took her to the vet saying she was, on the brink of death. The vet is familiar with our cat and assured her she was fine, and called us to pick her up. The vet apparently had to force the woman to leave our cat behind, as she kept insisting she had to take her home. Luckily our cat is microchipped. Since then, this woman has been posting in our local resident's Facebook group and somehow got our address off one of the neighbors. She shows up at our house, sometimes multiple times a day, with our cat. She stands and talks for ages and ages, saying that she had to bring the cat home because it's wet outside and she looks sad. She doesn't seem to grasp that if she stops paying the cat attention she will leave her alone. She's quite young, I'd say 19-ish, and seems very sweet even going so far as to buy the cat a nicer collar than the one she already had and regularly pays for her own cabs to our house. The issue is, she shows up every day. It's completely unnecessary and no matter what we say, she isn't getting the hint. She showed up twice today alone and it's Christmas Day. We were in the middle of dinner and she wouldn't shut up about how the cat was outside in the rain, as if cats aren't fucking waterproof. The cat was home last night and perfectly happy, but because she happened to be outside for a couple hours this morning, this woman just showed up with her on Christmas effing day. Would I be the asshole for telling her to stop showing up at my house? Edit. Cat was previously semi-feral, we do not, let her out, she comes and goes as she pleases and is perfectly happy to do so. We live in the middle of the countryside so she won't run into a road etc, and she has a collar with a bell. This isn't a debate about if I'm a bad person because my cat sometimes jumps out of the window and goes walkies. Not the asshole. She refuses to accept the fact your cat is fine and stalked you. Definitely not ta. In ta but be careful. I get the feeling if you ask her to stop coming she'll just take your cat. I'd make sure you have her address. Wait, cats are waterproof? Not the asshole. This woman sounds mentally or emotionally disturbed. Tell her you appreciate her concern for your cat, but that your cat is well cared for, as the vet confirmed, and you'd appreciate it if she didn't come to your home anymore. Next step would be threatening a restraining order, I suppose. Not the asshole for keeping this crazy person away from your house. You are the asshole for letting your cat roam outdoors and likely murdering a lot of birds and crapping all over town. Be a responsible cat owner. I honestly think the young lady is very lonely and is using the cat as an excuse for social interaction with people that are nice to her.